Welcome to another process video. Today I'm going to show you how I create my little very simple mixed media fairies. Someone had asked me how do you draw them? Uh, it's it's just my process. I'll show you just the simple way that I do that. <laughs> I'm going to use a bit of paint and a bit of painty paper and some magazines. So it's it's a great way to reuse little tiny scraps of paper too. Ah, oh, I'm going to bring you closer down so so you can see. So when I make my little mixed media fairies, I have a little pile of dresses from magazines. I have some painty papers to make dresses too. That's the dresses. And, oh, there's one. <laughs> I have some little stickers or flowers for their hair. And then I have a little pile of butterfly wings. These are printables of stickers, printables from Julia. A little sticker from Pickles. Wrapping paper. And these are, this is butterfly napkins stuck on book paper, vintage book paper. So, they make the wings. So somebody asks, would I do like a little drawing demonstration? Now, I don't mind doing a little drawing demonstration because I am, I'm just a beginner at drawing, but it's just great to have a go. It's, it's just paper so if it doesn't go right it doesn't really matter so I just make like a rough shape there of the face little eyes and a little mouth really and then I put these little ticks there just to Give her eyelashes, makes her super glamorous. And a little neck at an angle and some shoulders. <laughs> That's all I do. And I come in with some curly wisps. Wisps of hair. <laughs> oh, look at her. And on this one, I've done it to get different coloured skin tones. Sometimes I do it on the on magazine pages too. Or you can come in with a little bit of watercolour. Oh, that's got green on it. Just check what's on your brush from the last time. And come in with a little bit of skin tone there. I think the pen's still running. So she's got lovely black grey hair there. Oh, that's gorgeous, actually. Oh, she's lovely. Oh, happy, happy accident there. I will come in and do her flesh tone later. But the ink, this is what Mary does. The ink has run and made a beautiful hair for her. I shall, I shall let her dry. Let's, shall we use, shall we use another one that we've done? So that's, that basically is my simple drawing. Let's rehearse one of our... dresses that I've cut from a magazine. 
Oh, that looks nice on her, doesn't it? So let's stick that on. Oh, no, this is a long dress. Normally, my fairies, I'm going to stick that on there. Normally, on there, my fairies have little legs and short dresses. Oh, how interesting. I need to paint the colour tones of this little fairy here. There. Let's get rid of the black from my brush. Gosh, I love her with her... Her dark hair there, how gorgeous. Let's, I'm just using this colour because I just know it's lovely for a, a skin tone. Just testing it a bit there. There we are. Just, just a very light little bit of paint for her. Shall I come in with her hair? Shall we make it dark brown? She's like an autumn fairy in this dress, isn't she? I love her. She has knitting needles in her hair. <laughs> How amazing. And I'm going to cut her out. And let's find her some wings, shall we? Shall we give her, let's give her big, big, beautiful wrapping paper wings, shall we? I think the tealy blue will go beautifully with her dress. in half and then pop some glue on the back of her and then there's her wings let's see what they look like on the front actually I usually put them on the back can I just see what they look like if I put some at the front, it's always nice to experiment. Oh, yes. I think I'm going to put them at the front this time because it's a dress and I'm not drawing the little hands on that I normally do. I'm going to, yes. And she is all ready to go in the fairy journal. Or on a tag. Hmm, lovely. Let me show you how I... Is this one dry yet? Oh, not yet. Be patient, Janet. Here's the fairy door at the front of the house. <laughs> so they can nip out and fly all over the world. <laughs> Here's a little fairy. So let's just roughly tear her out we can deal with her later so what I do this is my this is my go-to fairy I get some don't usually have magazines all I do is rip a little dress like this very roughly like that. Where is she? She's there. I put that on top of her like that <laughs> and pop her, pop her some wings on. And she is ready now. <laughs> oh, lovely. Let's do that. She's got a little butterfly in her, uh, in her hair. Cute little, cute little thing, isn't she?
There we are. And let's pop her down here, on here. And just let me show you, I, and when she's properly on, I do a little neck <laughs> and some little arms. I just, what I do is, I just do it, I just hold my pen very lightly and it's almost scribbly and a little pocket with a heart on and then I make her some little legs. So I go down here and I normally do knobbly knees and then go down like this and then little, little feet. <laughs> And that's one of my little fairies there. <laughs> shall we draw another head? Let's draw another head, shall we? You might be able to see a little better. So everyone comes out differently. And if you don't like it, you don't have to use it. So I, do, I just do the little eyes there. And then the little eyelashes. Sometimes they work out. Sometimes they don't. And then just a little mouth. Oh, and a little smile. She looks quite angry, doesn't she? Let's give her some hair and let's see. Just a little bun, a bun of hair there. And I like, she's got little ringlets coming down. But they're little characters, so once they've got the flowers in their hair and I'm going to say she's okay. So, yeah, basically that's how I draw my little fairies, someone was asking. Well, there's some flesh tones already on this paper here, left over from this inky, inky one. Is that dry yet? Because I can come back in there and do some mm, wonderful curls in her hair there. Yes, let's see. Let's just do another one. So, I'm coming down, just making a little chin <laughs> and this little eyes. Because this is, it's a bit of a cheat really. I'm doing the eyes like this because, um, oh, smiling, because it's, it's hard to do the open eyes, so that's why I'm doing them closed. <laughs> they look magical. And, and maybe at some stage I will, there's a parting, I will, I will do other ones. But for now, see now I think this one hasn't worked out as well. I might not use a, but it doesn't really matter. It's just a case of playing and experimenting and this one's her expressions not so good but this one I've just done I I like her expression and this one look she's got a little turban in her hair <laughs> and all piled up <laughs> oh dear yes just a case of playing so they're little characters everyone's different mm. Oh, here's where, this is make a nice t skin tone. It's just where I did some brush strokes. So, yeah, just roughly do a shape and some eyes and little mouth and some little eyelashes. Doesn't look much yet, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Should we do another one with a little hairband here. Mm. I rather like that sort of bohemian look there. Coming up into the blue paint. Mm. She's got a bit of a square chin there. I just never know how they're going to turn out. But mm. 
So that's that's how I draw. I am a very, very beginner drawer. <laughs> hmm. Sometimes, yeah. But it's nice. It's nice to share, share our journey. And I'd love it if you shared your little fairies too. That would be super. Mm -hmm. She needs some hair coming down here. I think that'll improve it a lot. Hmm. And some over her face as well. Or maybe I've overdone it. Oh. <laughs> think it's time that we had a nice cup of tea and a little chat. Just spend that little bit of time together, don't you? Hmm. I do appreciate you spending this time with us. <laughs> it's so lovely. I've got my, the last of the hot cross buns here, left over from Friday. Mmm, it's so nice. Early in the morning and the sun's streaming through the window. Absolutely gorgeous. It's not too hot because it's sort of early spring sun. Oh, I've been making, I pop this little fairy I think, I'm, I'm making a tag here. Somebody in comments, they're giving me, giving me quotes from my fairy journal. Just as fairies splash in tiny raindrops, ride golden sunbeams and sparkle on snow snowflakes. Be bright and adventurous. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. And I know, I know that's not always easy. We can't be bright and sparkly. <laughs> I know, I know. All the time. Mm. I think I'm going to pop that little fairy in my in my bookmark I, i'm i'm nowhere near finishing in this journal now i can think of i just want to fill it with fairies <laughs> oh, what have you been up to while we've been making fairies have you made any flow Oh, Flo. Oh, I love your page. Absolute pages, actually. That's lovely. I love your little bird. Beautiful. Hmm. She's always so busy, isn't she? <laughs> oh. hmm. Shall we pull another ATC? Thank you so much for looking after them, Primrose Hibiscus. Been doing a journal too. Little heart shaped journal. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, Primrose Hibiscus, I love it. Look at that little rabbit playing the playing the piano. Oh, absolutely gorgeous, Primrose Hibiscus. You hold on to that one. Oh. one of these at the front it's a, a trading coin I'll tell you why in a minute as well let's put an ATC as well oh how lovely art is a joy oh that's so lovely and this is from Esther Thompson thank you Esther gosh we'll put that one safely back in our little pot that is gorgeous thank you I'm going to put it there Esther to give me inspiration throughout the week. I've also pulled an ATC coin. They're two and a half inches round. I tell you why, because last night in this pile of what I've been doing, I can't find it now. I, I wanted to make an ATC coin for Trudy, so I, so I, I got this one out and drew round it. You, you could use a compass or 
I can't find it now. Oh, here it is. It's not finished yet. I need to go round it, add a few bits, but I wanted to make a Teddy 80 sequin for Trudy <laughs> from that um, vintage teddy bear calendar that I have. I think I enjoy doing it so much that I might make some more. That's the one from Irene. And this is the little one that's in progress <laughs> for Trudy. This little teddy's called Blitz. <laughs> oh, isn't that lovely? And on that note, I'm going to light a candle because I'm going to be thinking about Irene, particularly, That's she's in our community, particularly today and going on through the week. And we have lots of other people in our hearts, don't we? I do like the candle. Be strong. Yesterday, I had people saying, put matches on the on the shopping list. Oh, I know I will. And I was saying, I've got to even, I've, A, I've got to take the shopping list. B, I've got to read it when I'm there. Some people were saying, was it Becky, that they take a photograph of their shopping list and have it on their phone? I think, I think that might be, I think that might be the way ahead for me. We, we, I've got a chalkboard and we chalk up the list. Oh, and I could actually even take a photograph of the chalkboard. Hmm. The song of the hawthorn fairy. Those thorny branches bore the May so many months ago that when the scattered petals lay like drifts of fallen snow. This is the story's end, you said. But oh, not half was told. For see, my whores are here instead, and hungry birdies shall be fed on these when days are cold. Oh, isn't that lovely? The hawthorn fairy, they look like rose hips to me. We call, I, I would have called these rose hips. Unless there's a page missing. Oh, I think there might be a page missing. Oh, there's a page missing. <laughs> it must have fallen out. Anyway, that's the song of the Hawthorn Fairy. And here is a picture of the rose hip fairy. <laughs> oh, that's so lovely. And in Australia, it is autumn and they will be having all their berries for the hungry birds. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. That's the flower fairies of the trees. I love it. <laughs> oh, well, I think it's probably time for us, yes, to say goodbye. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's been, it's been lovely. We've so enjoyed it. Thank you. Mm. I'm having this treat. Bye everyone. Take care. Oh, I haven't 
to top the pot up when it's not ready. We are in the New Forest at the wedding reception. We couldn't bring Fred with us because the, there was the church bit of the wedding, so he couldn't have left him in the car. So he would have loved this though, wouldn't he? Oh, he has been here before though. We'll bring him another time. <laughs> oh, and here's the wedding reception through here. I've got the cow. I don't remember cow. No, neither do I. Is that new? It probably changes, doesn't it? What I've got. Or they've just wandered in. I'm not taking video of poo. Oh, that's beautiful. I know, right? You could use it in your art. So you can't get that close. No. Well, I don't know if he just happened to be walking away. or Let's ask him. Wonder. How big? Yeah. It's all looks pretty, though, doesn't it? They are big. So this is the new forest. I think it's common land, isn't it? Anybody can graze their cows or horses here. We're going to bring our cows next week. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> trailer. Yeah, yeah. The horses are, are they sort of ponies? Yeah. Yeah, ponies, yeah, yeah. New forest ponies. It's gorgeous dappled grey, isn't it? Oh, we couldn't have wished for a better day. That's true. I know. The Great British Picnic. Oh, it's sunset. Yeah. Oh, there they are. <laughs> All wrapped up on the beach. Oh, I didn't know you could zoom in like that, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seven or eight degrees? Seven or eight degrees. In, in Celsius, in Fahrenheit, that'll be 35. <laughs> That was, that's that's like freezing. Oh, it's not freezing. <laughs> 45. 45. It, it, it's chilly. It's chilly. Yeah, yeah. I think this is a very British thing, isn't it? <laughs> oh, oh, he's steaming the camera up. Why are you laughing at me? <laughs> nice cup of tea. Oh, yeah. It's warming my hands. Very nice. A bit cold. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's lovely. Have you got the twinkling lights? No. <laughs> you panned back. <laughs> Oh, there's a restaurant over there. Yeah.